think it's, it's a great source to start inquiring about to what extent have African customs survived the, the Middle Passage and the horrors of slavery. Um, I think the conversation is, is a natural one to have in the early years of slavery, obviously, uh, but by the time Douglas comes around, you know, slavery has already, the transatlantic slavery has already been cut off. Uh, slaves are not seen as uh, imported anymore. Um, but yet, uh, it, it's a testament to the extent to which African customs and traditions and culture survives um, the institution, uh, the trade, the trafficking, and, and the attempts, quite literally, to beat uh, the Africans into submission into slavery. Uh, so it, it's a good document for asking those kinds of questions about how does this survive, what does its survival mean, uh, what happens when uh, an African American is confronted with African customs that they have rejected. Uh, that's a real internal personal struggle for Frederick Douglass. Uh, and it tells us a little bit about the character of, of the community in which African Americans are operating, that there is no one set uh, definition of, of what slavery was, of who was a slave, uh, how did slaves live their lives, uh, and uh, all the, the facets that go into uh, you know, creating the African American community. Um, so I really ask my students to kind of probe it on that particular level and, and the questions that come out of that document that uh, lead them to discover uh, a new sense and a new understanding of African Americans. I usually use it uh, with um, John Hope Franklin's book In Search of the Promised Land, which is the story of a female slave who's owned by a Virginian but who lives in Nashville. And so she's uh, allowed to live and exist almost as a free black woman uh, with these tenuous connections to slavery. And it really shows in her life then the kinds of things that can happen in those complex situations. You know, Douglas's life is also very complex. Um, and so I, I ask the students to think about this little story, this little snippet in, in the larger story of his life. Well, I, I hope that they'll try to, f to find out uh, the extent to which uh, slaves were, in fact, either dominated by their master and not dominated by their master. You know, where, where are the margins within which slaves can control their own lives? Um, I hope that they'll question their monolithic understanding of slavery uh, because it seems to me that a, a lot of students come with such an understanding that you know, all slaves lived on a large plantation, all slaves picked cotton, all male slaves were in the field, all female slaves were in the house. And it's not the kind of story that gives us any kind of agency among the slaves. So I really want them to examine that. It's very important for them to read excerpts about the same event across the four different bi autobiographies of Douglas. How did he change uh, in the course of his life? Um, why did he expand upon this story in one of the narratives but not in other narratives? Is it something he remembered? Is it something that gained greater importance as, as he went on in his life? Um, those are the kinds of questions that you can ask of an individual. And you know, we, we always need to get past, uh, especially in slavery, we always need to get past the sense that we're looking for consistency and uh, that, that individuals are not consistent and we shouldn't expect that of our historical figures. You know, I mean, here's a slave who is taught to read against the law and it's, it's done openly. Here's a slave who passes through many masters. Again, not the perception that, that uh, most students have of slaves. Um, Here's a slave who, you know, does the unthinkable. He, he confronts a, a slave breaker. Um, and so in that sense, it gives them, you know, the, the hero's story. Um, but it also, it's, it's building from a story about which they already think they know something. And I, I think that's real important that we start with things that they think they know and uh, that they can then learn that there's more to that.